Greetings, Nimrods. So we're in the light shed. Give you a quick look around here. I haven't been in the lead shed much these days just because of lack of components. Remember, we don't get political here on Yankee Nimrod. So don't be offended. At any rate, you know, Frog has taken up sporting clay, so we've been shooting a lot of sporting clays, and we have just kind of pissed through all our components and Hadn't had any primers for the particular powder I use. I don't really mix and match primers, so I really needed Winchester primers. And I had been looking around all over the place uh, for them. There's a place in town where I can get them, but they want like $170 for a thousand unit box. So, so I went to an auction the other day and got some interesting stuff. Wasn't expecting to get ammo at this auction. We'll talk about that in a second. So here's the funny part of the story. So last year, if you follow the channel at all, you know I got a 44 Magnum, uh, well, 44 caliber lever action that I really like, a Marlin. And I had been reloading these 240 grain XTP bullets for it and having good results. And I've shot through all those and boy I need some more so that I you know got about 30 in here and I needed some more just so that we could get the gun sighted in for hunting season and get frogs some practice with it and I had been looking everywhere for it I bought these uh, earlier in the year they were pretty inexpensive swaged lead they're pretty soft lead and they shoot terrible um, you know, they, I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm like I'm gonna buy a handgun or something because they uh, they just lead the barrel and they're totally inaccurate. They sound funny. Um, I, you know, I haven't slugged the bore, but obviously these are not going to work. The jacketed bullets are the same size, work fine. So I was getting desperate and I, uh, I went and I got these. You know, I, I shoot my, mu my muzzle loader with these, part of the reason why I have a 44 caliber lever action. And I just bought these for the 44 240 grain XTP bullets they come with. And I was just going to salvage those and maybe use some of the swaged lead ones with the same boats for the muzzle loader. So, you know, 30, 30 bullets for 24 bucks, uh, not so good. But I think originally paid $37 for a hundred of these um, pre biden pricing. So I had, like I said, I've been looking all summer trying to find 44 caliber bullets either loaded or you know, rounds loaded or put just the bullets for reloading. I do have the other components I need. And I went to this auction with my father yesterday and was not expecting to to really buy much of anything useful. But lo and behold, in some of these box lots, we've got jacketed 44 caliber bullets. 240 grain so I got 200 of those and I paid you know you know I bought a bunch of box lots the whole thing ended up cost me um, 130 bucks so you do the math and you start adding this up also got approximately 500 hard lead 44 rounds as well and look at this 44 magnum primed brass roughly a hundred of those now, I don't know that I'm sure they're I don't know how many firings they have on them but they seem in good shape and they're fine and also we got a bunch of 44 magnum reloads now I'll have to look at these carefully make sure they're appropriate we'll test them in the in the uh, size and gauge just to make sure they're sized properly. We'll probably take a few apart and just make sure that the components are what they are. They do have little notes on them listing what the components are and, and funny as it would be, they, some of them are exactly what I load them for. So, <laughs> some of these, so there's some of those hard cast lead. You can see 10 grains of unique. Hmm, that's what I do. So that was interesting. So I got a couple hundred rounds of loaded a little over 100 uh, primed empty brass, 
and 700 bullets. And then I'll, this whole lot cost me $130. Over here we got a bunch of, uh, what appears to be 308. I don't have a 308, but I've got a few hundred rounds of 308 now. Um, probably not going to buy a 308. What else did we get? Oh, we got 1600 Winchester 209 primers, and that's what I needed for my sporting clays rounds. So we're back in business. You know, do the math. So those, you know, on a good day, you would get those for $34 for a thousand. Uh, right now, that like I mentioned before, that that store wants ridiculous money for them. The last box, I last thousand I bought, I think I paid like fifty nine dollars for, and I almost threw up paying that. Uh, so hey, <laughs> do the math. We're doing pretty good, and we're not done yet. Now he, these are factories. They're old, Buckshot factory. Uh, Twenty or so of those. Ten uh, factory slugs gauge it's another stuff here i'm not sure what this is but uh, i don't know if this is factory reload this is buckshot number four buckshot they appear to be reloads look at that 1972 these are as old as nimrod so we'll take those apart and see what what they look like in the inside they say they buffered so what are they buffered with hopefully they're not buffered with like flour or something although from what i can see this guy did a decent job reloading so we got some old powder We'll give that the sniff test and decide what we're going to do with that. We'll probably use this because you, know, you can always make light charges of black powder loads. And we did get a pile of 50 caliber balls. And I do have a 50 caliber muzzle loader. Got a box of uh, 4570 brass. I don't have that, but I may get one of those someday. We've got some other things here. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe one of you guys could can tell me. I'll stick some pictures in of this. Whatever they are, they're big. Uh, also these. I think these are the Russian. I figure what caliber that is, but that's more familiar looking. A couple other things there. Some of that familiar, some not. I actually passed on a lot of stuff. I just bought the stuff I needed. You know, I didn't want to get silly. Because um, you never know where the auction's going to go, but I probably should have bought some of the other stuff. There was a bunch of 9mm and, and 380 and 45 and it reloads. But again, they're reloads. They're not, they're not factory, so you don't know what you're quite getting into. So, oh, and a, uh, a bag of shot. So 25-pound bag of shot nowadays. What does that go for? So 1,600 primers, 25 pounds a shot, 700 bullets of various types for the uh, 44 Magnum, 100 brass, a couple hundred loaded 44 Magnums. So it was a happy day as far as bringing this stuff into the lead shed, so maybe we'll get to do some reloading again soon. Thought I'd share that with you. Hope you guys are doing well. Remember like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe. Nimrod wants you to subscribe. Happy hunting, Nimrods.